హలో ఫ్రెండ్స్ వెల్కమ్ టు మై యూట్యూబ్ ఛానల్ జర్నీ విత్ విజయ్ కుమార్ శ్రీవాస్తవ్ టుడే మై ప్రజెంటేషన్ టైటిల్ ఈజ్ మై థర్డ్స్ ఆఫ్ కంపోస్టింగ్ బిఫోర్ ప్రజెంటేషన్ లిటిల్ ఇంట్రొడక్షన్ అబౌట్ మై సెల్ఫ్ ఐఎమ్ విజయ్ కుమార్ శ్రీవాస్తవ్ ఐ హెప్ డన్ ఎంఎస్సి అగ్రికల్చర్ విత్ ఎస్పెషలైజ్ ఇన్ ఎగ్రోనామీ ఫ్రమ్ జిబి పంత్ యూనివర్సిటీ ఆఫ్ అగ్రికల్చర్ అండ్ టెక్నాలజీ పంత్ నగర్ అండ్ ప్రజెంట్లీ వర్కింగ్ ఇన్ సీడ్ ఇండస్ట్రీ ఏజ్ ఎ సీడ్ ప్రొఫెషనల్ అసోసియేటెడ్ విత్ వన్ ఆఫ్ ద ఎంఎన్సి ఇన్ దిస్ ప్రజెంటేషన్ వీ ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు కవర్ వెరియస్ మెథడ్స్ ఆఫ్ కంపోస్టింగ్ hope this presentation will be very very useful to all of you so now we should move to the presentation what is compost a mass of rotted organic matter made from waste is called compost compost is organic matter that has been decomposed in a process called composting the compost made from farm wastes like sugarcane trash paddy extra weeds stubble bhusa sewage sludge etc and other plants and other wastes the average nutrient content of farm composts are 0.5% of nitrogen 0.15% of phosphorus and 0.5% of potash why compost is so important it's needed to create humus soil high in nutrients and useful for plant growth to reuse what already exists instead of making more waste and harming the environment because this is the one of the organic tools for improving the soil health and getting the higher productivity now we will discuss about benefits of compost first compost improves physiological chemical and biological property of soil hence considered as soil conditioner second soil organic matter plays an important role in sustaining soil fertility and sustainable agriculture production third is organic matter rich in basic plant nutrients nitrogen phosphorus and potassium and additionally supplying micronutrients manganese copper iron and zinc compost reduces organic waste on the farm and eliminates pathogens and it is one of the cheaper alternative source to supply the nutrients to the crop in case of rural compost nitrogen content is varying 0.5% phosphorus content is 0.15% and potassium 0.5% while in case of urban compost nitrogen contents is little higher 1.5% phosphorus 0.5% and potassium content 1.2 to 1.5% composting composting is the natural process of rotting or decomposition of organic matter by microorganisms under controlled conditions raw organic materials such as crop residue animal wastes food garbage some municipal wastes and suitable industrial wastes enhance their suitability for application to the soil as a fertilizing resource after having undergone composting composting is an aerobic and anaerobic methods means there is a presence and absence of air for decomposing organic solid wastes it can therefore be used to recycle organic material the process involves decomposition of organic material into a humus like material known as compost which is a good fertilizer for plants composting is essentially a microbial decomposition of organic residues collected from rural compost or urban compost these microbial decomposition are of two types first one is aerobic where decomposition takes place in presence of oxygen and second is anaerobic where decomposition is in in absence of oxygen here we have shown the difference between aerobic composting and anaerobic in case of aerobic there is little bit high temperature maintenance in case of anaerobic it is cool composting where temperature is lower in case of aerobic there is fueled by oxygen and moisture while in case of anaerobic it is fueled by bacteria and moisture in case of aerobic composting there is needs of organic material turning weekly while in case of anaerobic it is not needs turning and aerobic composting needs larger area to produce composting while in case of anaerobic it needs a smaller area and aerobic composting is a quick process which where the compost is ready within 6 weeks while anaerobic composting is a slow process and it is ready, ready after 6 months in case of aerobic composting due to high temperature there is killing of pathogens and weeds while in case of anaerobic the pathogen can spread and is weeds can sustain in case of aerobic there is no odorous gases while in case of anaerobic there is presence of odorous gases 
एरोबिक कंपोस्टिंग इज एक्सपेंसिव वाइल केस ऑफ एनरोबिक इट इज लेस एक्सपेंसिव इन केस ऑफ एरोबिक कंपोस्टिंग माइक्रोब्स विच आर इन्वॉल्व जेंथोमोनास एंड कोमामोनास वाइल इन केस ऑफ एनरोबिक देर आर क्लस्टेडिया बैक्टीरिया एंड यू बैक्टीरिया हेर वी हैव सोन द रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ कंपोस्टिंग विच आर नीडेड फर्स्ट वन इज एयर देन वाटर वेजिटेबल मैटर वॉर्म्स कार्बन नाइट्रोजन मिक्स देन माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज लाइक सोल्जर फ्लाइज वार्म्स आर नीडेड फॉर डिकम्पोजिशन ऑफ द ऑर्गेनिक मटीरियल एंड देन अदर बेनिफिशियल बग्स सो दीज आर द प्राइमरी रिक्वायरमेंट फॉर कंपोस्टिंग प्रोसेस वॉट इज द मैकेनिज्म ऑफ कंपोस्टिंग कंपोस्टिंग इज अ बायोकेमिकल प्रोसेस इन विच एरोबिक एंड एनरोबिक माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म डिकम्पोज ऑर्गेनिक मैटर इन टू वेल्यूबल मैन्योर्स कार्ड कंपोस्ट हेयर वी आर यूजिंग द ऑर्गेनिक मैटर so if you are maintaining the temperature 55 to 60 degrees centigrade there is release of heat where thermophilic state is prevailing which helps to destroy pathogens and decomposition of material after that it comes to mesophilic state where the temperature is maintained 25 to 30 degrees centigrade which promote mesophilic microbes for rapid decomposition and then after a certain period after a, a steps of process adopted following it will convert to compost now we will discuss about different composting methods first one is nadep method which was developed by nd pandari in maharashtra and demonstration at large scale was initiated at jawaharlal nehru krishi vishwavidyalay indore second method is indore method which was developed by a howard and wide ward at the institute of plant industry indore and third one is bangalore method which was developed by ln acharya at indian institute of science bangalore and then coimbatore methods which was introduced by menikam in 1967 first one is nadep method this is one of the composting methods in which there is facilitation of aerobic decomposition of organic matter and this method facilitates a lot of composting through minimum use of cattle dung here we will discuss about steps for any dp method of composting like first one is selection of site and compost making materials required method of filling tank and second filling here we will discuss about selection of site the tanks should be located near cattle shed or farm site and the size of pits should be 10 feet long 6 feet width and 3 feet in depth and it should be well prepared with 9 inch thick wall and the proper blocks and holes of 7 inches should be left on all the four sides of the tank wall for the circulation of air plastering of inner wall and floor of the tank should be done by mixture of dung and mud the tank is covered above with a thatch roof here we have shown the material required for nadp method of composting and the vegetable residue needed 1400 to 1500 kg cattle dung needs 90 to 100 kg and dry shift soils needs 1750 kg and there should be need of water 1500 to 2000 liters and these are for the standard practices here we have shown the method of filling tank slurry made of cow dung and water should be sprinkled on the floor and the walls of tank the filling of tank follow different methods like we are following three layers in first layer there should be vegetable residues which should be spread evenly in layer up to 6 inches and having the material of 50 to 60 kg in each layer and then in second layer there should be 4 to 5 kg cattle dung of gobar gas slurry in 70 liters of water should be applied on the first layer then there is third layer where 50 to 60 kg shift soil added on the second layer of tank in this way the tank is filled layer by layer up to 1.5 feet above the brick level of tank and we are maintaining 30 layers filled tank should be covered and sealed by 3 inch layer of soil with quantity of 300 to 400 kg then it should be pasted with a mixture of dung and soil then the better decomposition will take place inside Afterwards the second filling step should be followed at this stage the process of the first filling is repeated and again sealed with paste of mud and dung after 20 days the plant residue contracts and goes down in the tank by 20 to 25 inches periodically the paste of cattle dung and water should be sprinkled to maintain 
फिफ्टी टू ट्वेंटी परसेंट ऑफ मॉइस्चर द सेकेंड कंपोस्टिंग मैथड इज इंदौर मैथड इन दिस मैथड ऑफ कंपोस्टिंग ऑर्गेनिक वेस्ट आर स्प्रेडेड ऑन द कैटल सेड टू सर्व एज बेडिंग यूरिन सॉक्ट मेटेरियल अलॉन्ग विद द टंग इज रिमूव एवरी डे एंड फॉर्म इन टू ए लेयर ऑफ अबाउट फिफ्टीन सेंटीमीटर थिक एट सुटेबल साइट्स यूरिन सॉक्ट अर्थ स्क्रेप्ट फ्रॉम कैटल सेट्स इज मिक्सड विथ वाटर एंड स्प्रिंकल्ड ओवर द लेयर ऑफ वेस्ट ट्वाइस और थ्राइस एट ए लेयरिंग प्रोसेस कंटिन्यूड फॉर अबाउट अ फोर्ट नाइट ए थीन लेयर ऑफ वेल डिकम्पोज कंपोस्ट इज स्प्रिंकल्ड ओवर टॉप एंड द हिप गिवन ए टर्निंग एंड रिफॉर्म ओल्ड कंपोस्ट एक्ट एज इनोकुलम फॉर डिकम्पोजिंग द मटेरियल द हिप इज लेफ्ट अनडिस्टर्ब फॉर अबाउट ए मंथ देन इट इज थोरोली मॉइस्चर्ड एंड गिवन ए टर्निंग द कंपोस्ट इज रेडी फॉर अप्लीकेशन इन अनदर मंथ इंदौर पिट मेथड वॉज इम्पॉर्टेंट एडवांस इन द प्रैक्टिस ऑफ कंपोस्टिंग विच वॉज मेड एट इंदौर इन इंडिया बाई हॉवर्ड इन मिड नाइनटीन ट्वेंटीज एंड दिस वॉज द ट्रेडिशनल प्रोसीजर विच वॉज सिस्टमाइज इन टू मैथड ऑफ कंपोस्टिंग नाउ इट इज नॉन एज इंदौर मैथड हेयर वी हैव सोन द साइजेज ऑफ पिट्स फॉर कंपोस्टिंग इन केस ऑफ इंदौर मैथड हेयर द ब्रिथ और विथ शुड बी सिक्स टू एट फीट एंड द पिट डेप्थ शुड बी टू टू थ्री फीट्स एंड द लेंथ शुड बी टेन फीट्स इन केस ऑफ इंदौर मैथड्स ऑफ कंपोस्टिंग द साइट ऑफ द कंपोस्ट पिट शुड बी एट ए लेवल हाई इनफ टू प्रिवेंट रेन वाटर फ्रॉम एंट्रिंग इन द मानसून सीजन इट शुड बी नियर द कैटल सेड एंड ए वाटर सोर्स एंड ए टेम्पररी सेड मे बी कंस्ट्रक्टेड ओवर इट टू प्रोटेक्ट द कंपोस्ट फ्रॉम हैवी रेनफॉल एंड द पिट शुड बी ऑप्टिमम स्टैंडर्ड साइजेज लाइक वन मीटर डीप वन पॉइंट फाइव टू टू मीटर्स वाइड एंड ऑफ सुटेबल लेंथ एज डिस्कस इन अर्लियर स्लाइड इंदौर मैथड कंपोस्टिंग इन पिट्स इन्वॉल्व फिलिंग ऑफ अल्टरनेट लेयर्स ऑफ सिमिलर थिकनेस एज इन बंगलोर मैथड हाउ एवर टू इंश्योर एरोबिक कंडीशन द मटेरियल इज टर्न एट स्पेसिफिक इंटरवल्स फॉर विच ए सिक्सटी सेंटीमीटर स्ट्रीप ऑन द लंगल साइड ऑफ द पिट इज केप्ट वैकेंट इट हेल्प इन द टर्निंग इन केस ऑफ इंदौर मैथड ऑफ कंपोस्टिंग लेयर्स ऑफ वेजिटेबल वेस्ट एंड नाइट सोइल्स आर अल्टरनेटेड इन ए सेलो होल डग इन द ग्राउंड दिस इज टर्न रेगुलरली फॉर अबाउट थ्री मंथ्स सो इज टू प्रोवाइड एयर टू द मिक्सर एंड प्रॉपर डिकम्पोजिशन कंपोस्ट इज नाउ लेफ्ट फॉर वन मोर मंथ विदाउट टर्निंग फॉर द प्रोसेस टू टेक इफेक्ट इन केस ऑफ इंदौर मैथड द टर्निंग शुड बी डन ऑन ए रेगुलर पीरियड द मेटेरियल इज टर्न थ्री टाइम्स वाइल इन द पिट ड्यूरिंग द होल पीरियड ऑफ कंपोस्टिंग द फर्स्ट टाइम इट शुड बी डन फिफ्टीन डेज आफ्टर फिलिंग द पिट एंड द सेकेंड आफ्टर अनदर फिफ्टीन डेज एंड द थर्ड आफ्टर वन मंथ इट ईच टर्निंग द मेटेरियल इज मिक्स थोरोली एंड मोस्टेंड विथ वाटर इट टेक्स अबाउट फोर टू फाइव मंथ्स टू ऑप्टेन द फिनिश्ड प्रोडक्ट नाउ वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट बंगलोर मैथड ऑफ कंपोस्टिंग बंगलोर मैथड इज एनरोबिक मैथड विच वाई डेवलप्ड बाई एल एन आचार्य इन नाइनटीन थर्टी नाइन एट इंडियन इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ साइंस बेंगलोर दिस मैथड ओवरकम मेनी ऑफ द डिसएडवाटेजेज ऑफ इंदौर मैथड दिस मैथड इलिमिनेट्स द नेसेसिटी ऑफ टर्निंग ऑफ ऑफ द मेटेरियल्स एज कंपोस्टिंग इज डन इन ट्रेंचेज मेटेरियल इज अलाउड टू डी कंपोज फॉर फोर टू सिक्स मंथ्स बंगलोर मैथड ऑफ कंपोस्टिंग इज ऑल्सो नॉन एज हॉट फर्मेंटेशन प्रोसेस इट हैज बिन रिकमेंडेड एज ए सेटिस्फैक्ट्री मैथड ऑफ डिस्पोजल ऑफ टाउन वेस्ट एंड नाइट सॉइल्स नाइट सॉइल्स रिफर ह्यूमन स्क्रिप्ट विच इज यूज एज ए फर्टिलाइजर इन दिस केस द ट्रेंचेज आर डग ऑफ नाइन्टी सेंटीमीटर डीप एंड वन पॉइंट फाइव टू टू पॉइंट फाइव मीटर विथ और ब्रिथ एंड फोर पॉइंट फाइव टू टेन मीटर्स ऑफ लेंथ डिपेंडिंग अपॉन द अमाउंट ऑफ रिफ्यूज एंड नाइट सॉइल्स टू बी डिस्पोज ऑफ डेप्थ ग्रेटर देन नाइन्टी सेंटीमीटर्स आर नॉट रिकमेंडेड बिकॉज ऑफ स्लो डिकम्पोजिशन एंड द पिट शुड बी लोकेटेड नॉट लेस देन एट हंड्रेड मीटर फ्रॉम सिटी लिमिट्स इन बंगलोर मैथड ऑफ कंपोस्टिंग ड्राई वेस्ट मेटेरियल ऑफ ट्वेंटी फाइव सेंटीमीटर थिक इज स्प्रेड इन ए पिट एंड ए थिक सस्पेंशन ऑफ काउ डंग इन वाटर इज स्प्रिंकल्ड ओवर टू मेंटेनिंग द मॉइस्चर कंडीशंस ए थिन लेयर ऑफ ड्राई वेस्ट इज लेड ओवर द मॉइस्चर लेयर द पिट इज फील्ड अल्टरनेटली विथ ड्राई लेयर्स ऑफ मेटेरियल एंड काउ डंग सस्पेंशन टिल इट राइजेज टू पॉइंट फाइव मीटर्स अबोव ग्राउंड लेवल इट इज लेफ्ट एक्सपोज विदाउट कवरिंग फॉर फिफ्टीन डेज इट इज गिवन ए टर्निंग प्लस्टर्ड विथ वेट मड एंड लेफ्ट अनडिस्टर्ब फॉर अबाउट फाइव मंथ्स और 
till required period. The Bangalore compost method is not so thoroughly decomposed like indoor compost method or a Coimbatore compost method but it is the bulkiest compost. In Bangalore method of composting, the waste material is placed in a layer 1 meter deep. This material is not turned at all and decomposes after 5 months. In Bangalore method of composting, the waste material is placed in a layer 1 meter deep. This material is not turned at all and decomposes after 5 months. Bangalore method of composting saves labor cost because there is no need of turning of organic material and regular sprinkling of water. Now we will discuss about Coimbatore method of composting in which composting is done in pits of different sizes depending on the waste material available. A layer of waste material is first laid in the pit. It is moistened with a suspension of 5 to 10 kg cow dung in 2.5 to 5 liters of water and 0.5 to 1 kg fine bone meal sprinkled over it uniformly. Similar layers are laid one over the other till the material rises 0.75 meters above the ground level. It is finally plastered with wet mud and left undisturbed for 8 to 10 weeks. Plaster is then removed, material moistened with water, given a turning and made into a rectangular heap under a set. It is left undisturbed till its use. Now we will discuss about vermicompost. Vermicompost is the product of the decomposition process using various species of worms, usually red wigglers, white worms and other earthworms to create a mixture of decomposing vegetable or food waste, bedding materials and vermicast to transform organic waste into a nutrient rich fertilizer and ensure higher quality compost material that is added to the soil to improve its quality. Vermicast is the end product of the breakdown of organic matter by earthworms. Vermicompost acts as a fertilizer for organically deprived soils which can be replenished using the nutrients present in the compost thus making it more useful for plants. A vermicompost is comparatively richer in mineral components like potassium, sulfur, phosphorus and others which is an added advantage for the soil and plant growth. Vermicompost enhances plant growth, suppresses disease in plants, increases porosity and microbial activity in soil and improves water retention and aeration. Vermicompost also benefits the environment by reducing the need for chemical fertilizers and decreasing the amount of waste going to landfills. In vermicompost, there is main role of earthworms which make the compost useful and nutrient rich. The important use of making vermicompost is that it can be used in your own farms as well as can be sold after packaging which is a whole new idea of processing in order to make the profit through a simple and easy techniques which one can perform at home or in your backyard. Here we have shown the some pictures related to vermicomposting which is describing the procedures and methods of vermicomposting and different environmental condition needs for the same. So this was all about vermicompost. Now my presentation ends here. Hope this will be very very useful to all of you. Having request, please visit the channel, subscribe it and provide your valuable feedbacks for further improvements to make in coming presentations. Thank you.